In this video, we'll look at the type of reaction for HCl plus KOH. So as we look at this reaction, there's a few things we should recognize. One is that we have a salt, an ionic compound, and water on this side of the equation. That's often a clue that this is a neutralization reaction. If we look over here, we need to recognize that we have HCl, which is an acid, and KOH, which is a base. We know that HCl is an acid, or at least we suspect that, because it has this hydrogen in front of it. For KOH, we have a metal plus this OH. This is the hydroxide group. So when you see that OH and it's bonded to a metal, you're thinking it's going to be a base. It's helpful to remember this table here. If you memorize this, it'll save you a lot of time. So if we look at our table, we have HCl right here. Hydrochloric acid, that's an acid. It's a strong acid. And then OH, KOH right here. Potassium hydroxide, that's a strong base. So it saves you a lot of time if you memorize this. So we have an acid and a base. They come together to form a salt and then water. So that is a neutralization reaction. So when you see that pattern, you know it's a neutralization reaction. Let's look at a table of common types of reactions, though. So here's our table. And as we look down, we can see we have our HX. So the H is the hydrogen. This is the X plus MOH. The M, that means metal plus the hydroxide. We got this ionic compound here in water. That's going to be neutralization. But this is also called a double displacement reaction. That's because the H here goes with the OH. So HOH, that's H2O. Then the K and the Cl, they bond to form KCl. So essentially, the K and the H are changing places. That makes this also a double replacement or a double displacement reaction. So it can be two types of reactions. One reaction can be categorized as two types. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction for HCl plus KOH. That's hydrochloric acid plus potassium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.